you have created a Facebook lead form, all right, and you want to test the Facebook lead form before you launch the campaign. Testing the lead form, that means you can test the connection, for example, connection with Zapier or Publi, both which have videos on it, where we can send the data from Facebook lead form to Google Sheet. But how do you test a Facebook lead form? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can test your Facebook lead form before you actually launch your campaign, okay? Before I begin, if you're new to this channel, do subscribe to this channel so that you can get more tips like this. Without further ado, let's jump into my computer and let me show you how you can test your Facebook lead form. Let's go. To test your Facebook lead form, all you have to do is just go to this page, developers.facebook.com slash tools slash lead ads testing. If you want, you can just go to my description box and click on this link. Immediately, you go to this testing tool. I highly suggest for you to test it using your computer because phone might be a bit weird, you know, <laughs> on doing work like this. You can find your page here. So when you click on this, they'll have a list of pages that you manage. This is a, my own page and this is the form that I have. You can preview form here. You can see this is the form that I have, okay? Now you can See there's a few options there's create lead and delete lead when you click on create lead facebook will create a lead which is a test lead so the details are a bit wacky right there test lead etc i can show it to you and where do you find your leads um, when you run ads in uh, ads manager you should be able to see a place where you can download leads i have a video on showing you how to download leads it's been same for a long time so you can do it there or alternatively you can go to your page this for example is my page log in into your page account and then you can see here lead center now the list center is only available for full admin or admin that have access to lead center so you need to have this option lead center all right so if you don't have this thing it's not that it is not there it is always there it is just that you don't have access to it okay you need to ask whoever whichever admin to give you access to it okay now go to lead center just click on it as you can see now there's a few places you can arrange accordingly maybe one day i'll go through a video on how to look into this lead center but as of now it's on the lead ads testing tool eh? so you can see there's a few different columns but before that, let's do a test lead by Facebook. Now I can preview form. Right? The form you can see clearly. I'm not going to test with my details. I'm just going to create lead. When all these are good for you to know, for example, if you're connecting, like I mentioned earlier, to Zapier or to Publi, or you want to see where the leads go to, all right? I usually use this to test the connection between Publi or Zapier, whether to Google Sheet or to email or to any other software, CRM software. So what happened was that uh, Publi or Zap, they'll receive the information from Facebook and then they'll put it accordingly just to test whether it is okay. You know? This is one place you can test. It. Okay, let's create lead here. Create lead. Okay, the lead has been sent to create new lead. Please delete this one. So you can track the status. It has been sending. And you can see here. So it's nothing here, right? Just click refresh. And you should be able to see here. Test lead dummy. So the information, as you can see, is not real, right? Test dummy. Full name also dummy test, right? Even phone number also. All this, all this information are not complete. All right. Now I have to click refresh. As you can see here, you can still still click in, right? But actually, once you create lead, the form will actually be disabled. Let me just refresh and show it to you. You can see here preview form, right? And then you can see that straight away show that it has been submitted this is not what you want okay what you want is to test another form for example you want to test your actual data to put it in all right so what you do is delete lead now one thing i need to have disclaimer when you delete lead you only delete the test lead so far i've tested with a few pages it is like that but just in case i would suggest for you to download all the leads from your ads manager first again i have a video on that download it first and then after that then only you start deleting ad and to try okay but if it's a new lead form i just delete it and anyway all leads will only be in your system for 90 days. After 90 days, they will be deleted anyway. So always download the leads out. So delete lead, your lead has been deleted. Now the weird thing is the lead here is not deleted. All right, so the data is still here. It's been passed through already. All right, but the lead in this testing tool is gone. Let me just click on refresh. After you refresh, then you click on preview form and there you will notice you are back to your form. Okay, so for example, let me just fill up. Now I fill up the form, not the test lead by Facebook. Okay, so I put it on the information here. I click continue and submit. So now it's submitted. So you go to here again, your lead center is not auto update. Huh? So you have to click refresh and there you can see the test here. All right, you can see everything is here. So this means that this form is A-OK. -okay. That's how you can test your Facebook leads form. 